Put those hands behind the back. Extend them up over our head. Inhale back up to a five-pointed star. Exhale down to a goddess pose. And back up, five-pointed star. Put those feet a little bit further apart. Exhale. Grab the ankles. Back up to a five-pointed star. Move those feet in. Exhale, cross the arms. And let's just do hands on top of the feet because I think that will be easier. Torso close to the thighs. Inhale back up to five pointed star. Again, put the hands behind the back. Exhale. Back up to five pointed star. Exhale, goddess position. Back up to a five pointed star. Spread those feet a little bit further apart. Exhale. Grab the ankles. Inhale back up to a five pointed star. Bring those feet closer together. Cross the arms. Come back feet. down. Grab in the outside of the feet. We'll put your hands on top of the feet. Inhale back up to a five pointed star. That should have given you a little bit of workout. A little bit of a bending exercise. Why don't you let everyone take a deep breath and hands to heart center and then we'll trade again. Take a deep breath, hands to heart center. Exhale. And the chest. We can always count on Fred to get us warmed up and moving, so thanks, Fred. And that's a good flow, especially for the Christmas season. I like it. the crossover. That's a nice little touch. So let's do one more big breath in. Arms go up. Hands come together. Meet. Exhale. Bring them down. Hands to heart center. Chin to chest. We're going to go to chair pose because after that I think we can all use a little rest. So you can step off your mat if you'd like to. You don't need to. Um, so we're going to take a breath in. We're going to bend at the knees and arms reach up for chair pose. Recalling hope and peace on this journey of Advent. And let yourself stretch down. And let's uh, take our feet wide again, about, about two feet. And once again, let those arms come up as we inhale for a big star pose, looking up. And then crossing those arms over, giving yourself a nice hug, pulling in here, letting the torso rock side to side. Inhaling again, open alternating the arms, whichever one you have on top, reverse. And one more hug for yourself. Good job. Release and arms go up again for star pose, looking up with wonder, finding trust in yourself, in the Lord, and in this journey we're all on. Bring your hands back to heart center. Feet come together just a little bit more. And one more chair pose, bending at the knees. And up we go. And come on out of that. Let's come back to the mat. We're going to use our transfer mode here for logistics of down dog. So when you're ready, once again, a bend at the knees. Let your hands come to the mat for down dog. And get strong in that down dog. We're going to let our left knee come to the mat. And we're going to bring our right foot forward up with our hand. Some people can do it real slick. Me, not so much. <laughs> but I get it where it needs to be. And here, let's do a nice stretch out. Feet looking up. Taking it forward and back. If you want 
to, we can put our hands on our right knee. Once again, that gives you a different perspective. And also a different stretch. And when you feel ready, if you'd like, put those hands up. Gaze looks up. Let's take some balance as well. Returning hands to me. And then returning hands to the mat. <coughs> One more switch here, over the neck. And let's do a switch, let's send that right foot back. This time it's that right foot's turn to be on the knee. Bring the left foot forward. Hands on either side as we stretch forward and back. Looking straight ahead. And then bringing hands to the knee. Once again, continuing to stretch. Now look it up, stretching forward and back. And then letting those arms reach up on the right. And gaze looks up. Hands come back to the knee. Hands come back to the mat. And this time we're going to take those toes behind us. We're going to tuck them and do a stand. Ready, bring them up and then bring the toes together. And let your head hang heavy here. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Let your arms grasp each other from side to side. Do a little walk. And once again, we're going to let our hands come back to the mat. Send those feet back into a high plank. And hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Knees come to the mat. Toes come together and take a well-deserved child's pose. And if you'd like, you can get some things to make your time for cool down and savasana a little more comfy. Maybe you need a blanket or a pillow. Or darken the lights in the room where you are. Let your right hand reach out to the right side of the corner of the mat. Press in and let your left hand go on top. Take a deep little bend in there. Breathing in deep. Once again, come right to center. Taking your left hand to the corner of the mat, pressing in, right hand comes on top, doing a little stretch to the side, a little curve to the side. Then coming back to child's pose. And if you would like, and if you are able to let your hands come behind you, Part when you're wearing the glasses, but let your hands come behind you. For child's pose. You can hold your ankles too if that feels comfortable for you. Releasing from that and letting yourself come down to a reclined position on the mat. <clears throat> Bending your body.
body back to do a full body stretch here. Yes, that feels very good. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then pull those knees into your chest. Tuck your knees in and do a little windshield wiper from side to side. And then extend those feet up. Legs up at the wall. Or you can pull the block behind your thighs or just simply hold them with your hands. Reverse the blood flow. <clears throat> and you can let your lower back kind of rock from side to side if that feels good. the twist. Put the other foot on top. Once again, patting those toes and letting yourself settle in. <clears throat> Maybe sing up. Sending your feet out flat here. One more, full body stretch. And letting yourself settle into your mat. Checking in with yourself. Checking in with your jaw. Popping back up to the temple and the eyes. Coming back down to the neck and your shoulders. Relaxing them arms, then lay on your belly, lay by your side, the hip and pelvis here, and that, knees, thighs, ankles, toes, let yourself relax into your mat, and I have some thoughts to share with you, but just let yourself get comfortable, take a deep breath in, hold for just a moment, and Journey by trust, trusting the truth of God. Journey by faith in response to God's truth. Journey by substance, remembering God's provisions. When you start out on a journey, it often feels like it takes an eternity to get to a place that we have never been before. But this is an Advent journey. Will you trust God? Maybe your path is steep, rocky. Maybe it even involves maneuvering around icebergs. Keep your mind and heart connected to God. When we believe and walk in the light of his trust, the way is made easier, straighter, less treacherous. Will you trust God?
seeing the amaryllis complete its transformation from bulb to full bloom is well worth the wait. While waiting is not an experience we desire, transformational growth cannot be rushed. It unfolds in God's timing. Waiting is not just something we have to do while we get what we want. It's part of the process of becoming what God wants us to be. Letting yourself have a little bit more of awareness. Checking in. Taking a little bit of movement from side to side. And when you feel ready, turning to one side or other into the position of the dreaming child. From Isaiah 26, trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. And from Psalm 91, my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. When you feel ready, coming up into the footpath, into this position of easy seated. Taking a deep breath in here. As you exhale, chin comes to chest. The next breath then, inhale, let your arms come up. The palms meet together. As you exhale, bring hands to heart center, chin to chest. Lord, we have been on a journey, our Advent journey. Week one, hope. Today, peace. May we find our journey by resting in God, our journey by trust, our journey by faith, and a journey by substances, remembering your provision for us. We thank you for all the blessings of this Advent season and all the things we're learning along this journey of growth and connection and prayer, and waiting, and trust. And in your name we pray. Amen. So thank you for joining me today, joining all of us. A special thanks to Fred, Aaron, and Glenn for participating and helping out too. So we'll see you next week for Faith and Yoga. Bye-bye.